hi students welcome to the another session in the previous we discussed about evolution of psychology and we are in division parts and now we will see evolution of psychology in india and of course we will also uh, conclude this chapter today so far we discussed the key call key areas in the whole topics in the first unit and we revised some very important topics and hope you got the overall knowledge and uh, the activities experience and uh, by this like we dealt with this unit so far for a more than a month like very close to a month so we will be ending unit 1 with this session okay let's see the evolution of psychology in india and even just recall the few uh, important aspects just see or uh, have a gist of the overall sessions and then we will conclude this session okay let's start so here uh, if we can see so these are the topics one second so these are the topics we have covered we we revisited introduction to psychology body psychology psychology as a discipline and uh, psychology as a natural science uh, all the core important areas and even today we will discuss uh, we are discussing evolution of psychology and we will close this one so even development of psychology in india we will be discussing here in detail and the the remaining parts are applications if you go through the previous sessions or the uh, the textbook you can really cl closely understand if any doubts you can write and then we can discuss as uh, as a separate topics okay so coming to the today's topic and uh, if we can revisit that evolution of psychology here you can see there is a timeline given that is some interesting landmarks so so far we discussed the schools of psychology that is uh, uh, roots uh, like a school uh, structuralism functionalism gestaltism uh, behaviorism uh, cognitive development co uh, cognitive aspects there are uh, these we have discussed in detail and here they have given some uh, like a milestones who are all inferred uh, we discussed like william wilhelm wundt we discussed james we discussed pavlov uh, there are some nobel prizes you, you go through the table there may be some uh, one mark questions uh, coming this one and that particularly even i have given you the exercises uh, like particularly glossary are a key keywords in the unit you please go through them the, those are really important uh, if you can practice them that will give you a like while talking psychology like like while exp explaining psychology to someone and while reading psychology these words will make you comfortable uh, with that particular topic so these are the areas very uh, which are important particularly covering both indian and uh, western uh, inventions or the key areas and now let's see the next topic that is particularly development of psychology in india development of psychology in india so indian philosophical traditions is rich in its focus on mental processes and reflection on human consciousness self mind body relationship relations and a variety of mental functions such as cognition perception illusion attention and reasoning etc so what he is saying as we discussed in the earlier sessions the indian psychology uh, the part concentrates on the inner self 
and the journey towards the own self human being of his own self understanding his own lifestyle his own behavior his own mental process his own experiences though uh, like if you can see the western part the, that they will be considering about the external behavior and environmental side but for the eastern and particularly indian they concentrate on the internal behavior or internal journey and the particularly it, it is a subject to self okay and then what they do focus on mental process reflections on human consciousness it's so consciousness is nothing but what the functions in you what are all going what are the process going in your own brain okay and the cognitive functions the mental functions such as cognition perception illusion these are all the mental process what these are all concentrated by indian part unfortunately philosophical roots in indian tradition have not influenced the development of modern psychology in india so far uh, to me the vedas upanishads whatever uh, uh, the old texts available in india it is really tough or a hard time to prove them in the modern scientific methods that's what it is saying though they it is a rich in the indian tradition they, the philosophical roots are high and there are more explanation philosophically and the treasure of knowledge in india having but still it it didn't influence the development of modern psychology it didn't much contribute so what happened the scientific methods which we adopt are mostly western and the western are very practical indians are like philosophy and particularly concentrating on the self so in this way it will be uh, like uh, it is like adjusting some unknown uh, some you can say it is not the same object it is the same characteristics of the things you are trying to uh, like indian traditions or eastern traditions are different from western traditions the, the conditions are really different here the conditions are how you can apply these western uh, methods to the indian one it will be tough and difficult right that is where that is the in, the development of psychology in india is still under the influence of western methods and the most of the person who started these developments are also were part of the edu western education so there is a little uh, what you can say the indigenous indian psych uh, psychology is still looking for a new method of approach that is particularly roots from the indian philosophy and tradition the development of the discipline in india continues to be dominated by western psychology yes that is already said although some attempts have been made to find to find points of departure both within the country and abroad still the points of reference are not find uh, not uh, found in india and even it is mostly western western influence these attempts have tried to establish truth value of various assertions in indian philosophical tradition through through scientific studies as i said the indian knowledge and the treasure is very vast and it is really difficult to prove with the scientific methods but still the physical philosophical traditions through scientific studies are being ascertained the modern era of indian psychology began in the department of philosophy at calcutta university where the first syllabus of experimental psychology was introduced and the first psychology laboratory was established in 1915 so the first psychological laboratory was introduced in established in 1950 where it is calcutta it is a western part of india uh, but particularly north india so then where is that well, calcutta university but it is not the direct department if you can see experimental psychology 
was introduced in department of philosophy it is part of philosophy so calcutta university started the first department of psychology in 1916 so laboratory is in 1915 and and particularly first laboratory it is in india 1915 we have to remember it as it is in india the first laboratory william mount is different it is in germany 1879 and it is 1915 in india calcutta university started the department of psychology in 1916 so first department of psychology in india is 1916 where it is calcutta university and then another department they the same calcutta university introduced another department that is applied psychology in which year it is 1938 okay it is 1938 the beginning of modern experimental psychology at calcutta university was greatly influenced by indian psychologist dr n n sen gupta who was trained in usa in the experimental tradition of und professor g a uh, und okay dr n n sen gupta he is the influence of first department of psychology he is a, he he contributed a lot for the department and then he where he studied he is also as i said the the person who started psychology in india were also studied in western part that's why still uh, the indian traditions or philosophical roots were not properly examined most of the methods adopted are western psychology methods western methods so western methods it's a bit difficult to apply them in in uh, in, in india particularly first dr anand in sen gupta he he we can consider him as a father of psychology in india okay and then there is another important person professor g bose professor g bose who was trained in freudian psychoanalysis another area which influenced the early development of psychology in india anand sen gupta who was trained under wounds experimental tradition of wound and then next one it is psychoanalysis psychoanalytic method which is influenced by sigmund freud and who is the one professor g bose okay professor bose established the indian psychoanalytic association in 1922 another major area after 1916 1915 was first experimental laboratory in india 1916 department of psychology and in 1922 bose established psychoanalytic association even bose was the first phd from india doctorate from india and then uh, he played a great role in uh, study of psychology in india even anand sen gupta he authored a book i think we can see it here in sociology and particularly these are all reflections of western methods okay and professor bose he is also a psychiatry background even sigmund freud also is psychiatric clinical background and uh, previously it was like that and now the first one is william hunt uh, influence second one bose is influenced by uh, sigmund freud department of psychology in the university of mysore and patna were other early centers of teaching in research psychology research in psychology so there are two other departments uh like first one is from calcutta university then after mysore and then after bhubaneswar which is part of uh, which is patna which is uh, bihar from these modest beginnings modern psychology has grown a strong discipline in india modern psychology has has grown a strong discipline in india after the establishments of uh, departments uh, like in the calcutta uh the study major studies have drawn and even establishing some psychoanalytic association he these are the developments in the part of modern psychology okay there are two centers of excellence those are the departments and centers of teaching and you can say departments and here 
two centers of excellence in psychology supported by UGC, that is University Grants Commission at Utkal University, Bhuvaneshwar and University of Allahabad. Previously, we are discussing about the universities. Now, the, the study centers, excellence centers, excellence centers where they are Bhuvaneshwar and Allahabad. This is also important. About 70 universities offer courses in psychology. I think uh, in India itself, they, there are mostly private and uh, what you can say, government recognized universities, state universities, even particularly in Andhra Pradesh, we have Andhra University, Nana University, Krishna University, Nagarjuna University, I think Krishna is not there, Nagarjuna University, Venkateswara University, I think uh, Vemana, Yogi Vemana University, you have uh, many programs in psychology, particularly in Andhra Pradesh. And, uh, and you, the most famous colleges here in uh, Delhi are there, uh, Hyderabad, uh, Bangalore, Christ University, MIT University, Symbiosis Institute. They're, these are the famous colleges in India. And even still, the University of Calcutta is still existing. And then uh, a large amount of research is, is conducted, particularly Indian part. Uh, there is uh, Pondicherry University, which offers uh, good research in Indian methods and traditions. So after that, after that, uh, like uh, as we discussed, Anand Sen Gupta and Bose, there is another one, Durganan Sinha. Durganan Sinha particularly wrote a textbook, uh, Psychology in a Third World Country. The first world country and the second world are like uh, Germany, England, UK, uh, United States. These are the ones. What are the third countries? Third world countries are not uh, are very developing countries. Where Indian, the Indian experience published in 1986. Uh, so far, we we gone through the timeline of uh, 16, 15, and uh, 22. Then now it is 1986. Traces. The history of modern psychology as a social science in India in four phases. Durganan Sinha is in his book, Psychology in a Third World Country, The Indian Experience, which was published in 1986. Here, it is like a simple gist of the, simple gist of the book, like he discussed in four phases. According to him, the first phase till independence, like uh, Indian independence is 1947, August 15th, and Till, that is like pre-independence was a phase with emphasis on experimental psychoanalytic and psychological testing research which primarily influenced uh, primarily reflected the developments of discipline in western countries so pre-independence era that is before 1947 indian psychology is mostly influenced by western countries the approaches which are used like psychoanalytic method psychological testing these are all highly influenced by the, uh, you can say, Western methods. The second phase, this is the first phase, that is pre-independence era. The post-independence, the second phase, till 1960s, like from 1947, before 1947, from 1947 to 1960s, the phase of expansion of psychology in India. It is, what you can say, it is the expansion of psychology in India into different branches of psychology. We will we'll be discussing in detail and uh, you can check the previous sessions also. What are the different branches? Environmental psychology, cognitive psychology, humanistic psychology, uh, school psychology, uh, cognitive psychology, communication psychology, counseling psychology. There are a lot. Forensic psychology. There are the different branches and applications. During this phase, Indian psychologists showed a desire to have an Indian identity by seeking to link Western psychology to the Indian context. This is the second phase from 1947 to 1960, that is post-independence era to 1960, where the Indian psychologists are the modern uh, developmental period took place. And then now uh, what comes here is like uh, the identity to establish its unique uh, by the Western linking the western psychology to the indian the, so that it will be easy to study they did this by using western ideas to understand indian situations however psychology in india sought to become 
relevant for indian society in the post 1960s phase of problem oriented approach i just want to there is a hypothetical detective model and here problem oriented research okay it is the after the 1960s the area is where the indians concentrated to adopt the western methods and apply to the indian conditions and then study the process so that's how what is this phase phase of problem oriented research pre independence post independence and now problem oriented research psychologists become more focused on addressing the problems of indian society yes anyway psychology deals with the human behavior tries to help the uh, human being to be better person each and every day and now psychologists became more focused in uh, problems in indian society like it is like uh, uh, adopting the conditions and trying to reflect them further the limitations of excessive dependence on western psychology for our social context were also realized realized what he is saying that uh, you can say it is highly influenced by western uh, psychologists right and are they really help us it should be it should be like uh, you can say indian conditions it should be like it should be reflecting the problems of indian society but excessive dependence has been realized like as i said most of the indian methods were adopted from western and these has high influence on the western and uh, they may not be suitable for indian conditions even the indian texts are related to the land of india and you cannot examine them with a different approach you may but it will be difficult and it may not be applicable leading psychologists emphasize the significance of research which is relevant to our situation that's what as pondicherry university as we spoke it concentrates on calcutta universities there are universities which are concentrating like for the development of psychology in india particularly uh, even the modern era has emphasized to adopt these ones the search for a new identity of psychology in india led to the phase of indigenization previous previous pre independence era post independence era problem oriented approach now phase of indigenization we started during the late 1970s it is before 1947 47 to 60s 60s after that it is late 1970s the other approach besides rejecting the western framework indian psychologists stressed the need for development and understanding based on a framework which is culturally and socially relevant after rejecting the or uh, focusing on the indian traditions it is the next one is indigenization adapting to the indian methods inventing new knowledge on own land so it is when did it happen it did, it happened in 1970s this trend was also reflected in some attempts to develop psychological re approach based on traditional indian psychology which came from which came from which originated from indian cultural context and was relevant for society and indian psychology based on indian traditional knowledge system indigenous phase which is fourth phase in which relevant and cultures are examined and try to understand while these developments continue psychology in india is making significant contributions to the field of psychology in the world as i said the philosophical roots and philosophical knowledge religious texts rich tradition cultures what and diversified secularistic in india we have a vast amount of knowledge but still it has to be verified it has to be investigated with scientific methods to make it as a strong discipline in india but most of them are unproved and now it is like trying to adopting them to the indian conditions it has become more contextual emphasizing the need for development of psychology 
principles. It has become more contextual, emphasizing the need for development. All these phases which help us, like establishing psychology in India, which are rooted in our own social and cultural, yes, alongside, we also find the new research studies involving interface with neurobiological and health science are being carried out. As we have said, biological methods are really important and even Indian tradition is dealing with Indian tradition is dealing with uh, what you can say philosophical traditions and the journey to the inner self in that way you may take it is the like neurobiological sciences biological methods human beings are are the main approach psychology in india is now being applied in diverse professional areas as i said there are different branches and you can uh, applied in like forensic health co uh, cognitive neuroscience computer related digital uh, methods there are a lot not only have psychologists have been working with children having special problems that is it is like abnormal behavior abnormal psychology uh, they are employed in hospitals as clinical psychologists in corporate organizations in the human resource development that are hrd and advertising department particularly marketing which is how the customer behaviors will be uh, that is what advertising departments do in sports uh, it is like uh, as we said in sports the psychology is like mental strength taking uh, lose and win as the same in the development sector and in the it industries those who studied psychology particularly uh, not only uh, it is like or taking the regular one it is like a revision and then there is a lot of development yet to be done in indian psychology so that's how i think we end the session please go through the important topics and the four phases and development of psychology in india professor anand gupta anand das gupta g bose chandra uh, durganand sinha these are the important persons and uh, you can uh, uh, check information related to these things and particularly as i said go to the timeline please try to remember and uh, we will be ending this session so that if you have any queries you can write to us in the in the mail id is given and then so that's all so far we discussed everything in details if you have any doubts please write to the uh, organization mail id and uh, my mail id Uh, which is parted out siram at gmail dot com and you can reach us so that we can discuss and make psychology a, an interesting subject. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Bye bye.